What's up, Barca fans? We have some huge news that I can't wait to share with you that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Laporta is planning on making a huge bombshell, massive superstar signing for next season in 2025 in desperate hopes to really bring Barcelona back to that European domination level of football. And if that's not enough, there's also a lot of buzz and a lot of rumors circulating about a potential return for an ex-Barcelona player for next summer on a free transfer, which could be incredible to see. I know a lot of people might be for it, some might be against, but this could be great to see. And as fantastic as Barcelona has looked so far this early in the season under Hansi Flick, especially with a ton of injuries that they've suffered, imagine how they could look next year. Their second year under Hansi Flick, a fully healthy team, plus the addition of one or two of these players, this team could be one of the top teams in the world with an extremely bright future. But before we jump in, guys, I actually just partnered with Big Up. They're a new company that is transforming the watch along and live stream game for football slash soccer. It's an extremely collaborative platform that's going to really allow us to get really deep into analysis. I can bring people on the show. So if you guys want to call in, I can bring one of you guys on one at a time and you guys can talk with me and everyone else can hear. It's a great platform and I can't wait to use it. We'll probably be using it as soon as this Sunday for their match. So definitely tune in. There's a link in the description that's going to take you to my profile. So click the link that I linked down below in the description, create an account, and then follow my profile. This is going to be a great tool, and I can't wait to talk with you guys more about this once we're on the show. So definitely don't forget to do that. But now let's dig into the rest of the video. So let's start with Laporta, the man with a huge plan. And yes, he's had some plans in the past and doesn't seem like they've all panned out correctly. However, we have seen Laporta before from 2003 to 2010 as president of Barcelona. He was able to bring in some superstar players like Eto, like Ronaldinho. I even think Ibrahimovic was brought in under him. And then of course, Thierry Henry. Messi was of course introduced into Barcelona under this time. So a lot of good was done then. And now maybe it's a financial issue, maybe not. But the target that Laporta has his eye on right now is Erling Haaland. The best striker in the world who might go down as the best striker of this generation. He's dominating at Man City, dominating in the Premier League, dominating in the Champions League. Imagine him coming into Barcelona as Robert Lewandowski's successor. That would be a perfect move for the club. So why Erling Haaland? Why is Laporta so focused on him? Well, first and foremost, Lewandowski's at the end of his career. And unfortunately, again, the talent in that position nowadays is so few and far between. Now, Barcelona already has an incredibly strong squad. And they've looked incredible so far this season with some of their best players not even playing. They've been out with injuries. Now imagine this team fully healthy and then a second year under Hansi Flick. So even more chemistry and an even better understanding of chemistry and your tactics and playing under Flick. And then you add the best striker in the world to this team. That's just a recipe for complete domination, let's just be honest. Imagine Erling Haaland making runs and being fed from Lamin Yamal, Frank De Jong, Pedri, and Dani Olmo. That would be absolutely insane. Plus, the way that Hansi Flick is structuring this team and the way that these tactics are panning out seems like it's the perfect fit for Erling Haaland. And in the past, it didn't seem like this would be the most ideal situation for Erling Haaland to thrive under, specifically because of the way Barcelona played this slow tiki-taka style of football. And due to the fact that Erling Haaland isn't the most skilled player it might not benefit him but with the way flick has transformed this team and the tactics this could be absolutely perfect for barcelona and erling holland now as if erling holland if this news isn't enough for you there is a lot of buzz and some rumors circulating that there could be a potential return for neymar back to barcelona now we've heard this before but the interesting thing is now his contract at el hilal ends next summer in 2025 which barcelona essentially could get him on a free transfer and reports have stated that apparently Neymar has shown interest in a potential return to the Camp Nou. We all know Neymar had some of his best years at Barcelona where he helped create the greatest trio of all time with Messi, Neymar, Suarez. Potentially was he might have been the best he's ever been playing at Barcelona and who knows what he could have accomplished if he just stayed at Barcelona. And when Neymar was asked about if he made a mistake leaving Barcelona to join PSG, he said, I was too young and inexperienced and immature to really know what I did, which I think we all know and can read between the lines where he knows he made the mistake. But imagine Erling Haaland, Lamine Yamal, and Neymar as Barcelona's new front three. 
That would be one of the greatest and most exciting, maybe the most exciting front three in all of world football. Just imagine Neymar's experience, creativity, and flair, and then add that together with Pedri pulling the strings in the midfield and Erling Haaland scoring at ease left and right, and then a 17-year-old Lamin Yamal just absolutely shitting on everybody. Being the best player in the world as a kid would be insane to see. Barcelona might have the most dangerous attack in world football and might have just assembled the best team in the world, if that could happen. As unlikely as this does seem to an extent, this does seem like it could be a possibility and maybe one more than the other, but if Neymar were to return to Barcelona, this could be the perfect ending or a great ending to his competitive professional career that most of us, including myself, would absolutely love to see. As unfortunate as it was seeing Neymar leave Barcelona, I think a lot of us would like to see him back in the club, even if he's not going to be as productive as he used to. But let's just sit back and take a minute and appreciate what Barcelona has been doing and how Hansi Flick has transformed this team and has turned them into a fantastic attacking powerhouse. The team already had a great foundation and when Hansi Flick took over it seemed like they just needed to make some minor adjustments and he's done just that. We've seen some incredible performances so far from the team and a couple surprising impressive performances from a couple individuals themselves like Rafinha and Mark Casado who some of us didn't even know who he was before the start of the season and then of course Pedri and Lamine Yamal, Jules Koundé all three having fantastic seasons and other players too like Inigo Martinez. And what's even crazier about this is Barcelona is still missing several key players and some of the best players on their team like Frankie de Jong, Gavi, Ronald Arujo and then of course Dani Almo currently injured Anzu Fati just coming back and Christensen should be coming back in the next few months imagine a fully healthy Barcelona under the squad, two years under the squad and then you add potentially Neymar, add potentially Erling Haaland this team would be absolutely elite so you imagine this team this year fully healthy second year under Hansi Flick add the best striker in the world add one of the best players of all time in Neymar this team could easily be one of the Champions League favorites if not the Champions League favorite for the next several years to come and I think all of us Barcelona fans have been waiting for that day where Barcelona are looked at as a threat in the champion you can already see that Barcelona is building something special especially with some of these young superstar talents that have been brought in like Lamine Yamal like Pau Cabarsi like Pedri Gavi Marc Casado Marc Bernal it's so exciting to see this club transform and start to take that next step especially under Hansi Flick and and if Laporta can pull off these signings, at least Erling Haaland, this could bring and I think would bring Barcelona to that next level and make them one of the best clubs in the world consistently for several years to come, even more. You combine some of these young, talented players like Lamine Yamal, Pedri and Gavi, and combine that with some of the experience that Arujo has and Erling Haaland has even at this young age and Frankie de Jong, this could be an absolutely elite team and maybe the best team in the world. So just think about it for a second. Erling Haaland leading the attack in the new Camp Nou next season. Potentially Neymar with his creativity and flair. Lamine Yamal as a kid being the best player in the world, dropping guys left and right. Pedri and Dani Olmo pulling the strings in the midfield. This would be one of the most exciting things we could see and I'm here for it. I hope it happens. It seems like it's a dream, but it also seems like this could actually be a real possibility. So what do you guys think? Do you think that Neymar or Erling Haaland or both could be a real possibility for Barcelona next season? And if one or two of these happen, where do you think this takes Barcelona and how do they fare against other teams in the world and would they become one of the best teams or would they be favorites to win the Champions League for years to come? Let me know what you guys think about this down below and if you think it can happen. Drop all your thoughts and comments down below. Let's get a conversation going. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say and I'm even more excited to see if any of this could actually happen and come to fruition next summer. If you guys are as hyped as I am about these potential signings and what's to come for Barcelona moving forward and you guys enjoyed this video and like this content, feel Feel free to drop me a like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the support. If you guys want to hear more about Barcelona and other stuff around the world of football, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. Stay tuned for more. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.